Welcome to the ICE Talks, where we implement change every day. Hey, how you doing? Harold S. Reed Jr. here, also known as HRJR, your motivational coach. And as always, if you don't know what motive action means, motive plus action equals results, and results equals success. I'm going to make this one a short one today. I know I always say I'm going to make it a short one, and it winds up being like 25 you know, 15, 25, 30 minutes. But no, I want to make this one real short, but I want to make it to the point. Uh, the title of this episode is Find Your Formula. Now, I was inspired to do this episode uh, based on, or rather inspired by, a TV show, a relatively new TV show on VH1 called Love and Listings. Now, side note, I am a self-admitted reality TV whore, (laughs) to put it quite frankly. Um, Some of these things I just watch for the sheer mindless getaway entertainment. I'm not seeking to improve my life or, you know, live vicariously through the actions of others and all this other madness. No, but it is just a mindless getaway. But sometimes there's the rare occasion where... I picked something up that I can actually use. And this happened on this episode that I watched last night. One of the characters is studying for his real estate exam and he took the test and he failed the test. He did not pass his real estate exam. And he he said he studied and he can't figure out why he uses flashcards. He had friends helping him and he still can't figure out why he failed. He's got all these other distractions and... When I thought about that, I thought, well, what would I say to this dude if I were there with him? If I could actually sit down and have a conversation with this guy, what, what could I give him to help him? And I have a direct answer, but I want to be able to spin it so that you, the listener, because I'm not going to be talking to him, so I might as well spin this so that you, the listener, can get something out of it. Now, what my response to him would be, is the title of this episode, Find Your Formula. Now, here's something you may not know. A few years back, uh, I was debating whether or not going into real estate myself. And I took the classes, I took the exam. Now, it is a very difficult exam, and they vary state by state. So some things are similar, some things will be different. But without saying, it is not an easy exam. I spent a couple months, you know, preparing for this exam. Uh, I would be in class from 8.30 in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning till about 3.30 in the afternoon. And then I would go to the library. So I would be at the library from, say, 4 o'clock to about 7, 8 o'clock in the evening. All right. And that's Monday through Thursday. And then Friday, I would be in the library almost all day studying, studying. I got flashcards. I got books. I got highlighted. I got notes. So, yeah, I was studying for this exam. I was hell bent on passing this exam. And this is what I came to find out. The exam was multiple choice. We only had to pass by, you know, it's like most tests, you need a certain number to pass, and I believe you needed we needed seventy uh, percent or or eighty percent to pass. Yeah, I think it was eighty percent. You know, to con- be considered passing. What I didn't find out until the day of the test was that they were not going to tell us our scores. But this is the formula that I developed to discover for myself whether or not I was going to or I would have passed that test. All right. So this was my formula. Even though it was a multiple choice exam, I had a, a, and that was done on computer, they did give us a pencil and some scrap paper for some of the math problems that was part of the exam. And what I did with the scrap paper was, every time I answered a question that I knew without a doubt, I had 100% answered that question, I gave myself a hash mark. So you know how you do the one, two, three, four hash marks and then draw a line through it to mark five. 
right? So I did that for every question that I knew I knew the answer to. There was, you couldn't tell me anything different about that answer anymore than you could tell me my name was something else, right? So I, I did that all the way up to where there were some questions I wasn't sure about. And I had to be honest with myself. If I, I still had to answer it, but I wasn't sure, I didn't give myself a hash mark for it, right? So I got to where I had felt comfortable with about, and it was a hundred questions. So I felt comfortable with about a good 95, 96 of them. Right. And when the test was over, you know, you know, hit submit on, on the computer and then sit in the waiting area for them to call my name and tell me whether or not I passed or I failed. Now, was I still kind of nervous? Absolutely. Because I didn't know whether or not my system was going to really work. But it made me, it, it, it did release my anxiety. It did make me not feel nervous or as nervous as if I was just sitting there butt naked, right? So long story short, I passed the exam. And longer story, shorter version, uh, I did do some real estate deals, but I decided I really didn't want to do that kind of work. So I didn't, you know, but the experience and, and the things I learned were tremendous and I made my money back from paying for the school. So I didn't lose anything and I gained a whole bunch of experience. But let me bring this back to you. I want you to find your formula, something that will get you through whatever challenges that you're facing. For me, my formula was you got to get a certain amount of these questions right in order to, to guarantee a pass. And so I figured out, I'm going to go, every question they get right, I'm going to give myself a hash mark. And then when I get 80 questions right, then I know I'm good. That was my formula. What would your formula be? I can't, see, this is something I can't give you. This is why you have to find your formula. If you, if you know my, 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 my literary work, you know the, first t- the title of my first book is Find a Way to Make a Way. I was just having a conversation with my dad a couple of days ago and we were talking about how, you know, there were things that I wanted when I was a kid that he just wasn't going to give me, but I still wanted it. So in order for me to get those things, whether it was a new pair of jeans, a new pair of sneakers, a gold chain or something like that, you know, uh, I had to find a way that's legal. That was legal, of course, you know, to get it for myself. So I learned goal setting very early in my life. And what I want to get across to you is that if there is something in your life, you are going to have to find your formula in order to get to that goal. If there is something that you're dealing with in life, I have a few friends who are going through some very hard times right now. You are going to have to find a formula to get you through. If it's something as simple as understanding that with each day that passes is one less day you have to worry about and one day closer you come to your solution then let that be your formula. But ultimately, you have to find yourself a formula, something that you can plant inside your brain that's going to have you thinking progressively, that's going to not have you stuck where you are. Find your formula. Then you can perhaps go into, and I've spoken about this formula that I have, my, my 3F formula, the face it, fight it, free yourself from it formula, Right. So find your formula to get through what it is that you're going through. And if necessary, you can use my 3F formula. I I allow you to use it. Find it. Excuse me. Face the situation for whatever it is. Fight it. Get through it. That's where you have to find your formula during the fight it phase. You have to find your way to get through what it is that you're going through. And when you do and you continue to fight your way through that situation, I guarantee you, you will come across the final F of the three F formula, which is free yourself from that situation. All right. I promised you I was going to keep this one short. It is. We're going to be just under 10 minutes. I want to urge you to follow me here and other platforms and visit my uh, Facebook page, facebook.com backslash HRJR Enterprises. Find me on LinkedIn, linkedin.com backslash N I N black backslash H R J R Enterprises. And you can visit my website, www.coachhrjr.com. 
You guys take care of yourselves. This was a great episode. I look forward to talking to you on the next one. Thank you for listening to the Ice Talks, where we implement change every day.